How'd the open week go for you? Thought it went uh, good. We had a chance to uh, get some guys better. Just got the scrimmage of young guys, uh, which was nice, a couple days. And I thought we got better some uh, packages that uh, we'll need down the road, too. Memphis has obviously scored a lot of points all season. What are they doing on offense to make them so explosive? I think the quarterback you got starts with a quarterback. I think he's uh, when you look at last year's film and look at this year's, he's uh, more of a field general. Feels comfortable with his checks, very accurate with his passing game, and then you know I got good backs and receivers too. So uh, I think they do a nice job with their scheme, coaching it, and uh, we'll have to play well. What are they doing that's allowing them to protect the football so well? Uh, just getting it out so fast. Uh, they're moving the quarterback all over, sprint out pass, his drop back games like a one step and it comes out. And I think they've got one sack on the year. UCLA got one sack on them for the year. And uh, that's where a lot of the offenses are in this day and time. They're going to get it out. They're not going to take those minus yardage plays. Does it help you guys a little bit that you see that all the time when you go good <laughs> yeah. on good? Yeah, I think it does. Uh, you know, I think it's discouraging sometimes to the D-line. You know, you don't get sacks and all that. But we've had so many pressures and hurries and uh, all those things have resulted in good things for us. So you got to explain that to the D-line because they want the, the sacks. As you reflect on the first three games, where is your comfort level with this defense? I said from the beginning uh, that I thought these guys are different and I think their mentality is different, that they want to do well. And uh, they've worked extremely hard, and uh, they're not into letting things slip and uh, moving the wrong direction. I think they're hungry to play this week. But, uh, you know, I'm proud of where we're at right now. But uh, I think it's important you get better each and every day you go up to practice in each and every game. We've Rob, heard Robert, a lot of your – Robert was saying, I guess, yesterday that there was a lot of emphasis in the open date about, you know, working to stop the run a little more, run fits, that kind of thing. Do you feel like you've improved there? Yeah. Like I said before, that was probably my fault because I was trying to get the ends up the field too much and uh, we weren't squeezing on some of the things that we needed to squeeze on. And it was just – it was scheme more than it was the players. So uh, I think we got those things answered, I believe. We'll see. Who's, who's some of the players that you feel like have, have made a jump as the season's progressed? You know, I think, uh, you know, I think they all have, but, you know, I know that's being kind of general, but I, I see the guys that were maybe here in the spring, you know, the Christian Russell made improvement last week and, uh, and he needed to, and I see Gates coming on and I see uh, Kendarius Webster, you know, starting to grow up a little bit. So obviously those younger guys are going to come much farther because it makes more sense, but I think Cody Pruitt's determined – you know, C.J. Johnson's determined. Uh, I love Mike Hilton, you know that. But, you know, it's probably not fair to single out any of them because I think they've all tried to get better. What's your assessment of uh, Channing Ward? I think uh, Channing's, you know, we've moved him back and forth a couple times, and he certainly helped us in the first few games. And he'll continue to do that. And the better he gets, uh, the more playing time that he'll get. And Channing's one of those guys that he doesn't practice as well as he plays in a game. And, uh I think it's part of that is just totally being focused, you know, on every uh, rep that he gets. But uh, I'm glad he's there and he makes a difference for us. Is that frustrating as a coach when you uh, have guys I, like that? I think, you know, I've had over the years, you've had, you have guys like that. And I don't like the term gamers, you know. Uh, it's not good for a coach. But uh, he does seem to play better in the games. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, a gamer? <laughs> does, that, does that make you – hesitant or reluctant to put him in at times, though, after you've seen him practice well, like I, that all week? I put it on the kids because how they practice is who gets the reps That's in the right. game. So, uh, you know, unless you got injuries or, you know, and then all of a sudden you get one or two guys back, and maybe you're not getting as many plays in the game. But I challenge all of them uh, from the standpoint of one of our goals this year was to be able to uh, have more depth on our defense. And in many of the spots, we're able to play more players. And uh, we've been fortunate enough in some of these early games to get some experience with some of the younger players. So you better watch it. You get passed up. I always, I always tell them, you first teamers, I mean, you ought to try to do everything you can to separate yourself. And second teamers, you're one snap away from being a starter with an injury or whatever it might be. And then I think that's even magnified on the D line because we're trying to play 10 or 11 guys up there. And I think you have to in this league. You talked about.